Yeah, I had some good weather two days in a row, so I was able to try out those Acerdon RGB filters. Let's check it out. This is the Deep Sky Channel. set up in the background there and uh, finally got some clear skies I think we're gonna shoot a target which I already have data for the target that I've already shot with ZWO filters RGB was Barnard 33 the horse head so I'll spend a couple hours on that tonight uh, to compare uh, for this asteroid on RGB comparison okay guys let's check it out I'm gonna bring up picks insight since I've already processed the subs we're gonna compare the Acerdon to the ZWO. So let's go ahead and launch uh, PixInsight here. I have already loaded up the project. So you remember, or maybe you do, uh, the project that I did with the, with the horse head and the, the flame nebula colorizing an older RGB uh, using a H-alpha to sharpen it up. Well, uh, I'm using the fourth quadrant here. This is the fourth quadrant up here to do that comparison of the ZWO to the Astrodon. So the fourth quadrant looked like this. This was the fourth quadrant up there uh, in that mosaic. And uh, just remind you, this is so I'm talking about this area of that mosaic. That's all I'm focused on. So here were the original ZWOs. This is about 10, maybe 8 or 10 subs, very grainy. I think I had maybe 50% uh, moon, and uh, so it, it was somewhat of a um, light polluted sky, and it was very noisy. Here is the Astrodon. Uh, I should qualify it. There, there was no moon when I shot this one, uh, but, and it's about the same number of subs. It's 10 subs here but it's less grainy and now these are two minute subs stacked and uh, I think the results are pretty clear so those are the red let's have a quick look at the green here's the green ZWO very moonlight polluted here's the uh, Astrodon next to it and then here's the blue the blue Astrodon and then the blue ZWO Again, blue really shows the difference here. And I think these satellites streaking by are thanks Jeff Bezos or whoever that was, or maybe it's... Who's the guy that does the Tesla? I think these are his satellites streaming across. Anyway, when we mix it in RGB, here's the original ZWO. You know, short exposure. I think this is only a 48-minute exposure. Here's the same exposure length for the Astrodon. It's still noisy, but I think the clarity is there, and you really begin to see the details. Now, I went ahead and I ran a script to add in the loom data from the H-alpha. So here's the H-alpha in the fourth quadrant. When I combine it up there with that color data, it looks like this. So that color data combined with the loom is pretty good. There's that, there's that blue uh, satellite going through. So I, I guess... Just comparison here, so Astrodon, Astrodon with H-alpha, ZWO. I think the results are pretty clear that the Astrodon is, is worth the investment. So if you go up to Astrodon RGB filters, 36 millimeter unmounted. I think I showed you this last time. So anyway, I spent $790 on those. And this is what the set comes in. You saw me install it in the last video. Yeah, it's about a $199 for the ZWO compared to the $790 for the Astrodon. 
you get what you pay for and the results speak for themselves well that's all i got and uh apologize for the short video but again with two days of sky I'm not able to complete many projects, but I was able to do this test. So let me know if you have any questions. Stay safe, clear skies, and we'll see you next week.